coming up on this week's vlog. season we got our tree here it looks crooked finally got our tree and we're gonna we're gonna um we're gonna decorate it uh -oh. we're gonna decorate it yeah <laughs> but first let's get mm, i love you first let's get some um eggnog so as soon as i turn 40 Honestly, I've been knowing I shouldn't be uh, messing with the dairy no more. But right after I turned 40, I had a stomach virus. Don't know what caused it, but I felt crappy. So uh, one day I felt better and then literally had a little piece of my kid's pizza. And the next day I was back on the, back on the porcelain god. So I'm going to try out very limited dairy and i love eggnog so i found this almond milk eggnog by the homestead creamery shake before use it's a local brand and it's christian based so the, the back the back of the bottle reads and lo the angel of the lord came upon them and the glory of the lord shone round them and they were sore afraid that's from luke Second chapter, ninth verse, King James Version. I know that's right, Homestead Creamery in Burt Chimney, Virginia. So I found this almond milk uh, eggnog. Milk, cream, sugar. Wait, this is supposed to be almond milk eggnog. What? This is supposed to be almond milk eggnog, bro. This definitely has cream in it, bruh. Good morning. Good morning. It is Christmas weekend. Today is December 23rd. It is my grandmother, Arlene Virginia Clay Bynum's birthday. She passed in 2014, October 25th, 2014. So like 11 years ago and that one hurt because baby i love me some grandma but anyway it's her birthday so happy happy birthday as you can see i'm in the car shouldn't be doing this but i'm doing it and i am heading to just run some errands i gotta pick up a honey baked ham i'm taking to my mom's house for christmas i'm gonna be cooking today or tomorrow wrapping some gifts but this is literally just my life um woke up this morning was supposed to go to the gym i didn't but it's okay it's fine it's fine um yeah so we're here i am looking forward to a productive saturday again it's december 23rd christmas is two days away my kids i mean you know i have the, the teenager but the younger ones they're ages four and six and they're like really into christmas now 
So gone are the days of not having to do too much because they didn't really know what was going on. They're hip. They are counting every night to see when Santa Claus is coming. And it is the sweetest thing because I remember being a child and being so excited for Christmas. So um, let me get off this phone and let's get into the day. They coming out. They coming out of the Honey Bay Cam. Happy in the mud. <laughs> Not even five minutes. Got the ham, and now I think I'm gonna go to Target, but not the regular Target, the big Target. Since I had some, he's been acting up. He won't be the only one. Okay, let's see what this uh ham hitting on. Okay. Ooh, y'all see that? I do want a little piece. Don't judge me if you don't eat ham. Mm. Tastes good. Two days ago I should have just bought them then but I didn't so I didn't see any so I'm gonna ask maybe they have some hi excuse me do you know if you have cranberries in the back no okay thank you Christmas, Parker. Merry Christmas. Are you happy? Yes. Okay. What are y'all gonna do now? And open it, our presents. Oh, it's presents under the tree? Yeah. Santa came? Yeah. Yes. How you know? You didn't even go down. Let's go downstairs. Okay. Bye bye. If it you only open it if it has your name on it. I have a name is Parker and and Louise. Yes, open my door. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, it's the 25th! Yes! Oh, it's the 25th! 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 Oh, it
Parker. Okay, Reese, let's find something with your name. I think that says Reese. That says Parker. That one says Reese. There's some back there, too. Her yeah. Oh! Yeah. Like new boy. Mm hmm. Okay. What are you working on? A tricep, the tricep top. Did you do the, you did the bracket ones? Yes. And you did this one? Actually, Daddy did the bracket ones. Oh, okay. Parker did this one. Gotcha. Wow. It's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. I'll buy it tomorrow. Time to make the deviled eggs. It's the appetizer that we have. And I'm being, I'm tired. I tired. I don't want to do anything. And I think this is why Christmas is just I was just washing dishes. I'm like, do I enjoy Christmas? I don't. I don't enjoy Christmas Day. I don't enjoy all of this stress. Um, yes, yeah, having a like cleaning up all the stuff. I don't do well with mess. All the things that don't matter are what make me not enjoy Christmas. Like, yeah. <laughs> not feeling it. Not feeling good. Getting a cold. And having to do all this stuff is just not, it's not it. And I'm not feeling it. And most people aren't going to be honest about it, but I am. So, let me make these double eggs. Cheers, family. Cheers. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Yes, yes. So happy we're here. Praise the Lord. Hi, Doo Doo Black. Hi. She's so sweet. Please, where's the dinosaur for this? You like it? Yeah. <laughs> yes, girl. Why could you like this? Mm -mm, girl. So. It's the day after Christmas. Parker literally within five minutes took her nails off. Homegirl took them off. She was over it. And so am I. I don't have no nails either. But anyway, um, we are home. I worked out this morning. Took a shower, cleaned up. And I want to clean out the kids' um, closet today. Now I'm just going to hang out. All the sounds are the kids' toys that they got. How do y'all feel about Christmas toys? I'm not big on them. Number one, I'm not big on a lot of toys anyway. I throw a lot of toys away. I don't like little things in my house. It's like if it can't fit in your room, we don't need it in the house. Um, and Christmas is just a time where they accumulate so much stuff. And they only play with it once. Like I said, my daughter took the nails off within five minutes. And now I'm just, I get happy about throwing it away. And so it's like, why spend the money on it? Because it's just going to be thrown away. But I know that that is what America is built on. It's what capitalism is built on. You get people excited for this one day so they can go in debt or spend all their money. We didn't go in debt uh, this Christmas. We didn't put anything on credit card. So I'm really happy about that. Um, and we stuck to a budget. We didn't do anything extravagant. But honestly, I wanted to go traveling. I really wanted to be in Florida this Christmas. Things didn't work out. Actually, the reason why we were going to go we didn't that didn't happen anymore so we ended up staying home but i don't want any more normal basic christmases and i'm sorry i shouldn't say basic because i'm very blessed going to my parents house was definitely a highlight of the day 
seeing my niece and my parents and my sister, the kids playing together. I mean, it was fun. We had a good time, but just sitting in here, it don't be really feeling like it because I be having to clean up after kids. And I explained that to my husband, like, you want me to give you all the, the good loving, wrap all the gifts, cook the food, wake the kids up, work out, look good. It ain't happening. I can't do everything. So just a little bit. Let me know how y'all feel about Christmas. Does it bring you joy? Does it bring you stress? Does it bring you anguish? If the holidays bring you stress, if you're a mom especially, and if it brings you stress, let's talk about it. Maybe we need to do things differently. Maybe we just need to do it our way. Like new traditions are great. And while I'm thankful that we are able to see another Christmas, thank you, God, because it's about Jesus. He's the reason for the season, okay? Thankful for that. But I don't want this focus to be on I don't want this focus to be on gifts. I just don't. And that's whether I make a million dollars or a hundred million. I also say this. So on Christmas Eve, I went to sleep around 1230 after wrapping gifts and I put them under the tree. Also, I know that my kids are going to get gifts from my parents and my in-laws. So I don't go crazy because they're going to get the gifts. But on when I woke up, as you saw there were bikes under the tree. Now, before I went to bed, I told my husband, don't worry about the bikes. I know you're tired. Look, look at me being respectful of him being tired, but not getting the same respect. Isn't that funny? Anyway, so um, I, but he woke up at 3 a.m. and he put the bikes together. So when I came downstairs, I was really, really happy. And when we were talking about it, I was like, you know, what made you put the bikes together? And he was just like, well, once I got up, it didn't look like a lot of gifts, enough gifts. So I needed to have that, um, those bikes. And I was just like, what's enough? What's enough gifts? Like, it's just crazy to me. And I just think the mindsets are just different. So I'm not going to judge somebody else because of what they think. But that's not how I think anymore. Yeah. So tell me how you feel, moms, about Christmas. Let me know if you enjoy it. Um, only thing I wanted for Christmas and my birthday, hold on, was money so I could pay my personal trainer for three months. And I got that. So I have to sign up, take that cash. Cause I also wanted cash, no gift cards. Because when you buy gift cards, you spend extra money. It's an extra $5, extra $6. So just give me the cash or send me the cash app. And that's what my parents did. I appreciate that. Um, so... I'm going to take that cash, pay for my personal training for the next two, three, two, three months and get this year started, get 2024 started the right way. But I was also, you know what? I'm going on a rant. Let's end this here. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's December 17th and it's cold, but I'm on my way to the gym. Get some cardio. I actually signed up for my trainer. I'm going back to my trainer. I haven't been back there in like 10 months. Um, but I signed up yesterday for two months to like lock in for two months. Workout done. I just did 20 minutes, but it felt good. I'm so bloated, so looking for. I know I sweated it. I sweat out a lot. Um, so now we're gonna head to. Now I'm gonna go home, get dressed, cause I'm volunteering at my job today. It's so random, but I'm just gonna help out. All right, so I'm cleaning out the kids' room, and I'm going through old video just old stuff this is the book that people signed be careful when i have my 16 year old and these are things that people wrote us almost 17 years ago my friends family members who are no longer here Aunt, um, oh my god Aunt evelyn who is no longer with us it's the baby book that I started to make him. Those are all his sonograms. Look at that, November 2006. November 2006. 
leave all his sonograms. And I started making this book, but I only got, I didn't get too far, but y'all see, I was that girl. Been that girl. Get me. Ooh. Been that girl. Look at that. Been that girl. Okay. And I had short hair back then, look. A vibe. Still look the same. Okay. Juicy Couture. Juicy Couture. And then I made a page for my husband. And I wrote this letter to him. I thought his name was, if it was a girl, his name would have been Ava. But he ended up being a boy. This was the, the day that I saw him, the first sonogram. And I wrote this beautiful letter to him. I'm not going to read it because it's going to make me cry. And that was it. I never finished the book. <laughs> That's his baby bag. My husband surprised me. Well, he wasn't my husband at the time, but he surprised me with a Gucci baby bag. This bag was for $900. And this was my baby bag for my first child. Mm. It is worn, honey. I love this bag, though. <laughs> wow. All right, it's, I don't know what day it is, but I'm about to go out with my girls. I haven't been out with my girls in a very long time. This is a belated birthday linked up because, um, because I got sick when we were supposed to do it. Reschedule for today, and I'm really looking forward to seeing them. I just texted one of my good, good girlfriends, like, I'm so happy. I was like, you know, this couldn't have come at a better time. I wash my hair. I'm going to, I don't even, I don't wear makeup, honestly. But I'm going to just put a little foundation on. Okay, this is a nice setting mist. So what do you do with this? Hold the bottle. Use as often as needed. Hmm. Prime and setting mist. I guess you put this on before you, I know the makeup artists do this. So why not? Why not do what the greats do? And I work with some pretty amazing makeup artists. Anywho, you know, the other thing, since I got my eyebrows done, is since I got my, eyebrow, my eyebrows microbladed, that's been the game changer. It's like, you really don't need to get your makeup done. If, you, if your skin isn't crazy, you really don't need to get your makeup done when you get your eyebrows microbladed. Because the main reason why I would get my makeup done was because my eyebrows was some, they wasn't this. But now, my eyebrows are this. So I'll be having to get it done. Grab the mousse, Mayel, pomegranate honey, curl defining mousse. My hair is already wet because I just washed it. Big heap. And then I just go in. And yeah. There's another. Um, I want to try the kaleidoscope mousse. I hear that. That's a good product. I also saw, I think Kinky Curly has a good mousse. Oh no, is it Carol's Daughter? Somebody did a TikTok. No, it actually was a Pinterest. I think I put too much. That's okay. Let that dry. Oh, should I spray this now since my makeup is finished? I'm a makeup artist. Right, so this is the look. <laughs> I got this dress maybe a year ago. This is by um, Leon. Uh, what is her name? She had a clothing line for her son and then she started this line, which is like a little more, I don't know what the word is. Uh, couture maybe? I don't know. But this dress is so fire and it's a really good dress. So I'm wearing that and I'm wearing stockings underwear cute little purse from marshall's that i'm gonna wear and my Prada's. these shoes are very comfortable and so because they have the silver because they have the silver i was gonna wear these like i bought these the day before we were supposed to go out before i got sick to wear but they're silver so the marshall's had something very similar so i'm gonna wear those all right let's get dressed all right i'm dressed 
I'm dressed. I'm wearing Tom Ford Noir. Love it. What do you think? Super simple. I love a good black dress. Maybe one day I'll buy a camera. But I think I look pretty. Yes. Oh yeah, so these are the silver earrings that I went with. Never got to really do it. Um, thank you. Ooh. Thank you, sir. Awesome. Y'all eat them. Y'all ain't in it. I just have my shoulder in it. It's like... It don't have to be me. Just get this good earring and this shirt. Get the go, but I'm not. Oh, like not with her. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought I bought it won't be a thing. With the oil, oil. I bought all the no. oil. No. Oh, no facial vibes. No facial it out. You're not in it. Is this the ring? Probably never even been. So mm -hmm. kudos to that. Period. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep affecting the people that you don't even know that you're affecting. Um, by just doing yourself. Like, don't change. Don't forget this. That's yeah. all I got. Hey. Change only change what right. you want That's for you. It. Yeah. I would agree there. And Period. I thank y'all so much. You're welcome. Okay. Love you, girl. First all right. Love you, girl. Like, like, I don't don't y'all like, said, I'm tired. Like she had, um, <laughs> I'm a vlogger now. I'm a vlogger. <laughs> I said, Are you on FaceTime? I am. Hey, listen, you can write you another New Year's resolution. You can lay on the altar of church on New Year's Eve. You can get you a new gym membership. You can even cut you out some magazines with your homies and make you a vision board. At the end of the day, nothing means nothing if you lack discipline. 
The only thing that you're missing is discipline. The problem is, is that you wake up when you want to wake up. You eat when you want to eat. You pray when you want to pray. You post when you want to post. You spend money when you want to spend money. You are a slave to yourself. You do exactly what you want to do when you want to do it. Then you want to know why you don't get the results out of life. You don't need another life coach. You need some discipline. You lack discipline. It's time for you to change your mindset and get serious about this thing that you say you want out of life. It ain't going to fall out the sky and it sure ain't going to happen with them old habits. Go on and change your mindset and watch how your life change. Get you some discipline. Learn how to tell yourself no in this season and watch how you grow. Watch this.